In this video, we will be showing you the thin cylinder teaching apparatus, the SM1007. We're examining stress and strains on a pressurized thin walled cylinder. This is part of the materials testing and properties range with teaching equipment from Tech Equipment. Stay with us to take a look at this apparatus, analyze the learning outcomes, and carry out one of the many experiments. We're going to look at the open end condition on the thin cylinder to understand the hoop stress strain relationship, the longitudinal hoop strain relationship, the principal strains, and the Mohr circle. Understanding the effects of physical stress on a shape is important for engineers in many disciplines. A thin walled cylinder shows strain on the surface from internal pressure. Real world examples include the pressure in pipes, aircraft fuselages and compressed cylinders. Let's take a closer look at this now. In the centre is a thin walled aluminium alloy cylinder and within each end is a free moving piston. This sits on a sturdy frame on top of a steel box unit that houses all the electronics. To the front of the cylinder is a hydraulic hand pump that forces oil into the thin walled cylinder to apply internal pressure. The body section here is the reservoir containing the oil. This is a mechanical board and gauge, shows the oil pressure and for more detailed data collection and analysis there is an electronic pressure transducer that takes the data to a separate VDAS hardware unit that is connected with a computer running VDAS software if you choose. A hand wheel at the end of the frame sets the cylinder for open and closed end experiments. You can see on this diagram where the stress occurs for open end conditions and then for closed end conditions. There are multiple strain gauges fixed to the wall surface. Here we have one of Tech Equipment's skilled strain gauge technicians, Andy, fitting these in Tech Equipment's factory based in the UK. Due to the sensitivity of strain gauges, this work is done in a dedicated climatically controlled clean room. Understanding the use and the impact of direct and indirect stress is a fundamental element of what this apparatus allows you to do. Strain gauges are small sheets of metal foil cut into a pattern on a just a few microns thick, which means they need to be mounted on a backing sheet for mechanical stability and electrical insulation. As they stretch and deform, it changes the electrical resistance of the strain gauge. They are bonded to the surface of the cylinder and will stretch and compress as the cylinder is put under pressure from the oil pumped in by the hydraulic pump. The digital display on the front of this unit shows the strain measured by each gauge as a micro strain. A negative reading is a compressive strain and a positive reading is a tensile strain. This data will also be transferred to VDAS as well for automated data logging and data analysis. By taking in all the variables from the strain gauges and the electronic pressure transducer, you can examine the longitudinal stress. That is the stress that runs along the cylinder length. The hoop stress, which is the stress around the diameter of the cylinder, and the radial stress, which is the compression of the walls of the cylinder. You can find all the theory around this along with principles of stress, principle of planes, more circle and the details relating specifically to open and closed ends in the user guide. It's experiment time. We're going to look at open end conditions. First up, we create a blank table ready to input results like this shown in the user guide. You might instead use the table function within VDAS to gather and record your results. Then we switch the power on the thin cylinder apparatus and wait five minutes. This allows the strain gauges to reach a stable temperature that will result in more accurate data. Now we're going to change the pressure and turn the hand wheel to open up the cylinder, moving the pistons inside. On the VDAS screen, if you're using this, make sure you've selected this experiment and then ensure that you have also specified that you're using the open ends experiment condition. At this point, we close the cylinder. This prevents the oil pump to out of the hand pump, bleeding back in. Press this button to zero the strain gauge display readings. Then we scroll through the readings of all six strain gauges and put them in the table if you're doing it manually, or click the button on VDAS to record the data point. This is where we use the pump to increase the pressure to approximately 0.5 meganewtons per square meter. 
you wait a few seconds for the readings to stabilize and then record them either in your manual table or using VDAS. Then increase by another 0.5 mega newtons per square meter until you've got a full table of results. With these results gathered, you can chart the strain against pressure on the vertical axis and the strain gauge readings from all six on the horizontal axis. This can be done automatically within VDAS. Then comes the maths and analysis using the equations and questions outlined in the user guide. The thin cylinder experiment also allows you to learn more about Poisson's ratio, Young's modulus, the superposition method to find principal strains and the effect of a biaxial stress system. For more information, click on the links below. Techquipment also offers a similar experiment for learning about thick cylinders. These are part of the materials testing and properties range of engineering teaching equipment from Techquipments. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.